updating in real-time systems, steps in a real-time process. Real-time processing occurs when a participant or device makes a request for processing to occur, in which the request is performed immediately and the system gives an immediate result. So basically, at the time of the request, a result is given and the processing occurs straight away. In many cases, participants require access to an online database which allows them to process the transactions in real time. And when we say online database, we're not necessarily saying the internet, we're saying that the actual terminal or whatever they're using is connected to a network. And that terminal essentially is connected to a server which the request can be made to, can be processed, and then feedback to come from the server back to the terminal and back to the participant. Participants of a real-time transaction uh, system often include employees of an organization and customers who are entering details to the system via the internet or other networks, as we just said. The, the actual impact of real-time processing has been that there is no delay in the processing of transactions and there was historically with the use of batch transaction processing systems. Though while saying this, it is important to note that there are still systems that are still more efficient using the batch processing method, okay, where we actually accumulate the data and process all the transactions at a single periodical time. So keep that in mind. So although real time is immediate, it's not always better. So let's try to illustrate a real time process and the process of updating it. So here is my real time system. And let's say it is some sort of point of sale system that we're using products would be scanned first, okay? And so data entry occurs through, it could either be a keypad, barcode readers, or RFID scanners. We're gonna look at it in the context of a barcode that could be on a product. We scan that barcode, okay? And then data goes into the system. And the data that actually goes into the system are the numbers at the bottom of that barcode. That's essentially what's going in. So the next step is match the primary key of the scanned item with a corresponding record stored on the master file, which would be stored on the system server. So that actual primary key goes in, there's the number, and then it recalls other characteristics, other attributes about that product. So the product name, its price, its quantity. Okay, so at Woolies, you would see the, probably not the quantity come up, but you would see the product name and the product price come on the screen, as well as whether that product is on special. All right, and that would be registered as one of the products you were trying to purchase. From here then, let's say we've scanned all our products in, we need to actually make the sale and therefore we need to update the record in real time. The record is updated immediately during the transaction. So we are purchasing this product and that's why I put quantity on screen because we need to deduct that quantity from the store's actual master file. So we are updating the master file now. These two steps are occurring in real time together. All right, while the products are being scanned, and um, purchase, the actual database is getting updated as well, all in real time at the same time. Then the final step is that we actually have to get feedback from the system and it can dis will be displayed at the conclusion of the transaction. These days we get feedback through the actual monitors um, showing the scanned items going through the screen or through us entering our details and seeing the feedback on our own monitors when accessing them through the internet. But another important thing to understand is proof of purchase when we do buy things online is we often get a receipt of a transaction. This is very common to prove that the transaction took place, especially when financial transactions are occurred. So we often get a receipt at the end of the transaction which has the details about what we purchased obviously a reference number for us so we can uh, acknowledge and uh, refer back to the transaction and actually says what we bought how much we paid the date it took place things like that so i hope this is giving an understanding of updating in relation to real-time transaction processing how pretty much it all happens at the time of the request the database is updated we get feedback straight away no time wasted